Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to some more Civ 5. Uh, real quickly, because of the different upgrade paths, we don't have to do this. These guys upgrade to Lancers, as we found out in my previous run, and these guys upgrade to Muskemen. Now, what did these guys actually upgrade into? Calvary. Hmm, that's interesting. But anyway, I'm going to go over here and upgrade these two guys. Possibly build one more Muskman before I go out. Otherwise, we're just going to wait for these two trebuchet. In fact, just for the sake of time. Can't actually do that until we get it anyway, but... I need to figure out... See, that was built not too long ago. My money is becoming a small issue. Won't be as much in a little bit, but we shall see. I took care of that. My coup in Florence, that does not bode well for me. What we need. they don't have too many allies before we declare war. Now I have an amazingly strong army. Okay, we need money. That's a big issue. However, we'll go with this because having plenty of happiness is better. And what would I want to build? I want to build a castle wonder, which is where Where is it? Huh. Oh wait, railroad. Yep. I'm going to build that in here. I'm just going to hold that great engineer until then. And something that's interesting that I've noticed is that all of these are now cost 400 everywhere. So I think the way that the great person works is that every time you get a get a, every time you get a great person, regardless of that what that great person is, it adds more points needed for the next one, regardless. So that is interesting. That explains how it works a little better because I know if you were to get one like I got one through Liberty and I chose a free one it's the cost of it's supposed to go up so you don't lose any progress I guess towards your next one but the overall cost of your next great person of any kind goes up which is an interesting way to do it Ooh. <laughs> Okay, and with that, we have gunpowder. We can upgrade both of these guys. Build one quickly in our capital. Kind of quickly. And I think we'll be ready to go. Huh. 
for no apparent reason, my computer lost its screen. I may have been done with background downloading. Okay, well everything seems to be fine, it just cuts out the little part because it stopped recording it, but the recording is still going. So, sorry about that, I'm too lazy to go back and cut it. Because it kind of cut itself out already. Alright, so... Let's grab printing press. Okay, there we go, both my trebuchet. We now need to focus on our economy. I would say building a bank everywhere. And that way I can afford my units. Putting any units I need to rush and buildings I need to build. So we should have a more than large enough army to take him out. I actually like this city. It's out of range of the incense, but I can always throw the city down there if I want to. Just take all these guys, throw them down here, and then maybe take out Greece? I don't know. I think with the way the AIs improve, I mean, my army is about twice the size, if not a little bit smaller than that, but twice the size of what I would normally build. <laughs> Not to mention, I still have defensive units. Normally, I'd have one on the other side of my empire instead of units like all up here. I need to get someone down and repair these horses. Oh, you just did. Give me a second. Okay, down there. Is born. And you know what we're gonna do? What does this do? Let's other major powers know. Resting point is increased by 10. That's fine. So we get some basic stuff. Do they want me to do anything for them? Tribute from Wittenberg? No. And generate a great general? It'll probably happen shortly. Let's see, one more turn until we get that muskman built. And then I think we're ready to move forward. I'm surprised no one's tried to steal from me yet. No way that would have happened by now, especially because I'm in the lead with Tex at least so far. Not by much, though. I, mean, I think the average is, like, right below me. Yeah. I mean, Gandhi is way the heck down there. But. Okay. We shall start moving up next turn. Okay, you're done with that. Ooh, more good engineer points and a free castle. Yeah, they'll be good down there. 
plus the bonus to friendly territory fighting be nice and let's just get continue with the banks everywhere else hopefully because I think I should take this city first I'm thinking I should ignore it actually go straight for the capital and then kind of come back down because this is weak I doubt they have any units protecting that yeah well we'll start moving next turn and as soon as they call me on it I will declare war hopefully when there are no units around because that can kill you very quickly bummer because of this but that'd be like an amazing location for a city it's like right around here because or on the opposite side of these mountains because there's only two ways they can come uh, let's see you can't actually do anything you can just move up okay just go bank all right, I think I said I was gonna finish up tradition first, even though we do have a holy site and the discount to everything would be nice. Plus this gives me more gold as well. So we'll finish up piety, then finish up tradition, then probably go down order as soon as possible. Only 13 turns. See, that's why having a number of cities is actually okay. They say, like, less cities is better for culture victory, but if you have enough cities that are decent enough in their culture, it actually ends up being better. Because, in my case, every new city costs 22% more for the next policy. But the thing is... Actually, with how weak this is, I could probably just split up my army, take the city, and have the other half going up there. Let's see. These two, everything basically on this side, and everything basically on that side. Yeah, I could take that city pretty easily. See, your range strength is 14. It's even stronger than their defense. That'll destroy them. I think I'll keep the majority of my army. I think one cavalry unit won't hurt, but the majority of my army should stay. Here, there, yeah, those hills are definitely slowing my progress, but, oh well, they don't appear to have any units, so, we shall see how this goes. Yeah, sure. Just for now. <laughs> Everyone's gonna hate me as soon as I wipe out off the nation, so... Gotta prepare for constant war. I'm thinking next turn. He'll probably call me on it next turn, so... If he doesn't, we'll definitely call next turn, because he'll definitely call the one after that. There's no way he won't see this coming. should be able to take it out really easily. Yep. Thought he would.
So we lose a little happiness on that, but oh well. Florence declared war on me. Yeah, because they cooed that, but I think that's all the way over here. Yeah, who cares? It's all the way, you bloody fleece. Anyway, um, I think everybody has my medic promotion as well as the open train. I got another great profit. Which we will keep, actually. We will keep them simply because my the seeds I'm taking over are going to have a heathen religion. I say heathen because it's not mine. So, yeah. I was definitely right, by the way, that I, of where I was, which was the eastern part of Asia. Because we have Europe over here. And I was asked by XD Games, who's a long time, probably ever since the beginning, I'm pretty sure, my first ever video subscriber that I should take over, basically, these guys. Because he wanted me to put a city over where Portugal would be, which I think is Belgrade-ish area. Remember right? I've been playing Crusader Kings 2, which I unfortunately can't record a little bit. And I'm pretty sure I don't have enough of the world discovered but it's like over here somewhere on the side we'll see though if i ever get there this may be a very long lp okay we want everyone with the medic promotion to move up together oh they do have range units that they purchased there's no way they could have gotten them there otherwise yeah oh there's a great channel right there Range. You can just heal. You can just alert. And let's. I don't really want to move into range of the city just yet because my trebuchet are a little bit behind. XP. I, don't, I think they'll heal all that though, but then again, I could be wrong. They'll probably rush a wall in there as soon as they possibly can. Is the following trade of interest to you? Really? No. Really? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh come on! I'm not. I'm not. I don't go a little lower than 200 unless I have absolutely nothing else to do with it. What focus are you guys on? Production still. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to keep it on production just because the city is. It is a newspaper. Very much food oriented. Eight and six. Oh, I'm getting way more production. Okay, you guys are healing. You guys should be fine. Yeah, they have a range strength, range strength of 14 plus a 200% bonus. We actually have an overall strength of 42. Which means we will take it next turn. In fact, we could probably take it now. We'll wait one more turn. Pretty sure, because you didn't even heal last time. You'll be able to heal decently quickly. Um, I would like the national treasury in my capital. And that's a little bit long. Let's just go ahead and have you start building culture stuff. So my happiness is more than okay. Oh, yeah, stoneworks. Come to think of it, do I have... Yes, I do. I, I built that before I built the thing. Okay, we'll go for architecture next because of the wonders and then we'll go for economics I think I can hold off on chemistry I could rush all the vortex but I don't entirely think it's worth it, it's worth it. you just come up over here okay well Horsemen don't get defensive bonuses, and because 
They have a strategic resource penalty? Nice! So they're out of horses. So that'll be a major victory. We won't... Nothing major should happen. Okay, you know what? You have 16, you have 24. That's a huge difference in strength. We'll have you move up here. Range these guys. And that didn't finish them off, unfortunately. Also, ranging the city is going to be a pain in the butt. You know what? We're going to have to come... I think I'm going to pull all these guys back. And have them come down here. Because I'm, I just realized that we're not be able to range the city almost at all because of all of these tiles. I think what we're gonna have to do. Okay, let's fall back here. Is take over the city here and then kind of do a sweep this way and then come back because of the angle of the tiles. I think going that way will lose me a heck of a lot more units. And I want you to stay here so that you don't get killed. Really? You can't take them? Well, yeah, there's another city. That's why. I could still move. Let's move out of range. But I like that idea that I swoop instead of going straight in, because I think that's a death sentence. I think I'm going to lose these guys. Yep. Is the following trade of interest to you? Oh, okay, so they, they do that. So that would be an overall of 200. No, 230. You know what, I'll take that. Of course not. Shut up! You changed it! You offered it, then you changed not. it to lower! It's just like, arg. Yes, the yeah, AI has improved a lot more than before. But we're gonna try to take the city, and then hold off their military that's coming down. No, only... I guess I could have the horseman attack. No. Range the city. Range these guys. Or you attack those guys. I probably should have had this guy with range them first. Okay, range these guys to weaken them. Range these guys. Range these guys. Done. These guys are weak as all get out. You got here, you guys have done that. They've got some ranged units back there. And we can take the city. And the Grey General is exposed. Bummer, I didn't think to range them first. Uh, create puppet. And there we go. So this city I like. I just want to burn it though. You know what? It's only got one population. The best thing to do would be to plant my own city down here. Because then I get access to all this stuff and it's a little bit less conflicting with Chichen Itza. Even though it's really conflicting with them. But yeah, I'll just go ahead and keep those. Two, three. Actually, one, two, three. It's good enough. We'll keep it. Okay, take pasture. Right. 
You can just sleep. Well, I like to give them the flat terrain bonus because then they're not so completely overwhelmed. Food just barely survived. We're losing grasp on Monaco. I do not want that to happen. The more gold we give, the better. Okay, let's just. I'll throw 500 gold into them. The boosting culture is also quite nice. Then have you come to here? Heal. You can come over here. Okay, what is the most effective way to do this? You raise these guys. You raise these guys. And you did not finish them off. My aching back, you're weak. Okay, then you come to here. You go back down to here. I want you in range of the city, so you can just alert. You move to there. So we're down one unit. It's not a big deal. Hopefully I won't have to lose one unit per city. That would be terrible. Well, I guess not terrible, just not good. Uh, you got to here. You do nothing. You got to here. There. Oops. Arrange them. We're going to come in from over here. Probably go straight to the capital. Double back to here. Okay, you can just automate. Oh, or I could delete you, but no, let's just automate you. Run straight to the barbarians. Sure, why not? Okay, yeah, you need to heal. Actually, you do better in friendly territory. You're so badly damaged. Go in the city. Since you're already right there. Almost in dead last for smiling. Okay, you guys move here, you guys move here, you guys move here, you guys move there. Excellent. them. Oh, 
Oh, this is a beer. I lost my capitalist one. That's way too long. Just do nothing. You're healing. Next turn. You dummy. Hejime or Hejime Castle. Let's see. Move to here. Move to here. Move to here. Move to here. Actually, this will work. You can move to here. You can move to there. They need to introduce some kind of capitulation or vassalage. My money sh shot through the roof just from building the banks? I guess I built a ton of banks. I guess that could be the reason. Hope the guy just hurries up and dies. <laughs> he knows he's lost. He does have a decent enough army though. Now see they know the move and shoot now. Gosh darn it. That's a bummer because that's going to really hurt even more. Okay, let's get you over there. Sitting bull. <laughs> That's a great general. Okay, sure, why not? Well, now let's see. Can you, can you, you can, in fact. Wow. Well, they are looking pretty decent. We have medics everywhere as well. <laughs> Staying alive. Gosh darn it. Okay, well. 
They can't get to me, so we'll just have you guys heal. You guys can do nothing. Actually, I'll have you guys alert so you get the bonus to defense. It's ours. Okay, Finch University. Circus. Happiness never hurt anyone. Let's see if we can't conquer all of <laughs> this continent. That'd be hilarious. Wow, you survived. Atta boy. I'll take the city this turn. We can take it, and then we can easily wipe out these guys because we have a couple of bonuses. Oh, I even have my third trebuchet ready. Hit it! Nice! It lets me queue up my attacks now. That's so much better than before. Okay, now I can just walk in. <laughs> Should I? I'm pretty sure I'll win. I'll try it. If I th if he if he dies, oh well. Yay! <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I am aware of this fact. Okay, and then thanks to my bonuses. Not as good as I thought it would be, but... Oh well. left you alone. Man, this episode's gone way too long. Oh well. Eh, let me stay right here and work. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and finish choosing buildings everywhere. Alright, well, I'm going to cut the video off here. Thank you very much for watching, and God bless.